Greg Wallace. He's been showcasing his passion for food for two decades, would you believe, on MasterChef, yes, alongside Joan, of course, which returns for a new series later this year. Today, though, he's talking about his other great passion, helping others to get healthier, following his own transformation in recent years. And he joins me now, and it's great to see you. Happy New Year, my friend. Same to you. These are comfy. So am I sitting? Is my jacket? Is it pulled up at the collar? There? You're all right. You look. You look you're, fantastic. Right. As you as you do. Because you, you perch nicely, and I've slouched back in. I, well, I don't know that I do. <laughs> I always feel as if I'm kind of like a, a sack of potatoes. But I'm going to sit up straight talking to you. Now, first of all, Christmas was great in your house, wasn't it? Because something quite magical happened. Well, with the family. Yeah, with, with your Sid. boy. Yeah, yeah, Sid is coming on nicely. I'm, I'm like, well documented. Sid is autistic. Sure. He's non-verbal. Uh, but we, he, for the first time ever, he... There he is. There he is, little squid. <laughs> um, he, for the first time ever, opened his presents properly yeah. and played with his presence and interacted with the family. So Fantastic. I've uh, got to be a shout-out for his school, uh, Five Acre Wood. They special needs school in Kent where we live. They're doing a great job with him. That's so brilliant. we can see massive progress with him. He's a Do good boy. you know, boy. isn't that great? And it, sometimes it just takes getting the right place for them to go to, getting the right education, the well, right yeah. environment. I'm and, an and ambassador for a, um, Ambitious About Autism, and that's what that's all about. That, that, that is education for special needs kids. Oh, that's and, fantastic. And he's, he's a lovely, lovely boy. I've just got to say, you've got to get lots of interviews on this. We're not looking to cure our little boy. We're looking to understand him yeah, more that's, and give yeah, him the best opportunity. Because he's, he's autistic and that's what, you know, in the same way that you're a wee bit baldy. <laughs> <laughs> in the same way as I've got a big bottom. It's, not, it's all of these things. That we just, they're part of us. Um, and, we just get, and we just get on with it. And he was really one of the reasons why you wanted to get fit. Why you yeah. wanted to get fitter, which, wow, you have gone above and beyond. No, well, thank you very much. I mean, obviously, I, I fell in love with a much younger woman who's been on here, my, my she Anna. Yes, indeed, yeah. Um, and then we had we had a baby. I'm, I'm 60 this year. Never. And, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and having, deciding to be a father again and then Sid's issues, I wanted to be as fit and as healthy as I can. I, of I've, I've lost five stone. That's brilliant, but you've done it right and yeah. you've kept it off. Because it's all very well losing it. It's the maintenance, isn't it? Well, I realised that it wasn't about dieting. It was about eating properly. And that's what I now teach other people. I've been teaching people for three and a half years yeah. to help lose weight. I've got to now Loughborough University as an academic partner backing up what, what I'm doing. Oh, I've really now good. got GPs on my website as wow. well. And what we teach people is not to snack, not to have takeaways, but to eat three healthy portions of food. Now, that sounds really basic, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's common but sense, it, but... It really does. But I'll tell you what, we've got wraps up in a snack, snack culture and yeah, a takeaway because, culture. because when I was wee, you never, you never would eat in the street. That was, like, really frowned upon. But now it's kind of normal. And, and it's OK now and again, but to be honest with you, we do have to all have a reset. I've did, and you've a, done it. You're the proof that you can yeah, do it. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm, I'm living it. I mean, a lady... Because I've, 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 I've been coaching people free of charge as well. Right. Because I wanted to learn more about what, why we had so many issues. And one lady, she said to me, you sound like my grandmother. She said, who always said, eat your dinner. Yes. Don't, don't get any snacks. Sure. And that, that is what it, I think if your great-grandmother wouldn't have recognised it, don't eat it. Just get used Ooh. to eating... Isn't well, that quite, a good? I quite like that. Isn't that a good? It's a good. But Loughborough coming to me was yeah. just. I was absolutely That's a chuffed. Stamp of yeah, food, yeah, yeah, yeah. They stamp. said what you're doing is you're teaching people. I didn't know it. Yeah. You're teaching people about good nutrition, and that, mm. that's what I do. Greg Wallace Health is, is the website. Thank sure. you. <laughs> that, that, and that's what that's what I've been doing is actually helping thousands of people lose weight, help not by dieting. Not by dieting. It's all about eating because that doesn't work. That does not work. We know that. Um, but by eating in a, in, in a proper way, doing a bit of exercise, as you do, you know, you do that, get something that you like. But it's not about exercise. You know, you think about this. Um, if you ate a chocolate bar, you're probably going to do about 250 calories. Okay. You'd have to be on a treadmill for about half an hour to get rid of that. Yeah, that's without the pizza. Mm. That's without the bottle of wine. Mm. That's, mm. It's not exercise. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't yeah, no, no. But, you just keep your body moving. But I would say to everybody this time of year, don't give yourself a New Year's resolution where you think you're going to change your life forever. Right. Okay? Just make a decision to try to be healthier. Yes. Because you're not... You, to come January the 1st, you are not going to live like a monk or a nun. No. No, you're going to want a takeaway curry. You're going to want a glass of wine and a beer. But it's just making those steps to be as healthy as you can. And you can do it. You can do it. The thing is... It's like we say, if you can do it, you've always said, if you can do it, anybody can do it. And it's getting into that mindset. 
But it, it was... And you feel so much better, Oh, right? my word. I mean, look, my little boy, all right? I wanted to be able to... And I can. I'm the only one... I can. The only one strong enough in the house, he's a big boy, to pick him up and carry him to bed. I want to be able to swing him around. Of course you do. At 60 years old, you can't do that unless, unless you're healthy. Yeah. That, and, and he's the reason. I, look, I wanted to lose weight for me, yeah. but he's the main reason, my little Sid, that I wanted to just be as strong and as fit. I want to be around for him. As, I don't want to get too do. emotional, but no, I want to be around right. for him for, well, of course for, for as long do. as I can. Of course you do. You're like, I love you call him little squid. Little squid. <laughs> So cute. Squid. So look, if we look you up online, we can go in there, get all of this, all of this advice. It's not a start. diet, it's just helping people make healthier choices. And that must be great for you when you get that feedback when people say you've changed my life, it's all great. La, la, oh, la. I, I Wonderful. want I want your I want your grandchildren to drive past Trafalgar Square one day, find a statue of me in a toga holding a pineapple, because I saved the nation. What a fantastic image. <laughs> that is amazing. I shall, that, that shall stay with me for a long time. Thank you so much. Bless you. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. More power to you.